Now, one more thing I can do uh, with MiniNDN is a CLI, as Sora uh, described earlier. You can actually do that. Like we, you can, if you want to now use MiniNDN for debugging or something like that, you can use the CLI, but uh, it might not be very convenient and to present this uh, new thing, which is a MiniNDN uh, GUI with NDN Play. Uh, and I want to emphasize that this is uh, experimental. It's kind of alpha at best. Uh, so things might not work the way you expected. It's still a work in progress. So again, debugging with mini NDN, it's, it's a mini NDN is really good for writing these test scripts. I like the script I wrote. I defined a certain experiment and then I just run a script and it's going to run the whole experiment and I just study the logs later. Um, and the CLI, you can use the CLI to do some simple things, but it's not really designed for debugging on a bigger scale. Like uh, if you try to, like for example, if you just run something on one node, it's going to block up the CLI, then you can't run something on another node. Uh, because, oh, or you have to put the first thing in background first. It's, it's just a simple CLI. And the existing GUI, this is this is a very old image. I don't think it's, I, I think it has changed a lot, but you do need to have like X11, you do need to have the or forward X11 from a remote machine or something like that to uh, use the mini Indian GUI. So now I'm gonna introduce quickly Indian Play, what it is. So this is, uh, this is itself a not new, and it started as an educational tool sort of, and it's basically an NDN simulator that works completely in the browser. And you can actually just op go to this URL and it's going to open up for you. And what you can do is you can run very simple NDN experiments right inside your browser. And I want to emphasize, I don't recommend you use this unless you're like just trying out, figuring out what NDN is. It, don't use this for running your actual experiments. It's because it's going to run everything inside your browser and it doesn't have a real forwarder. It's just, it's just got a dump, uh, a very simple forwarder. So, um, but let me quickly talk about this, what, what it can do uh, before I go ahead. So first of all, it has this topology editor. You can add, uh, remove nodes and links. You can set, set the link latency and loss rates. You can also generate uh, mini Indian configuration files. Let me just quickly show that actually. So if I just go to today, and you can do this right now. Uh, I click on blank template, edit, I add a node, I add another node, and I can just name this as LS, and this as Bob. And then I can just create a mini Indian configuration file, and I can just directly take this and put it inside a mini Indian, and I can edit it. So this kind of really makes it easier to, instead of writing all the configuration files, you can just use this interface to do it. So uh, the one more thing that it can do is if you're running this experiment inside your browser, you can actually you can actually see the traffic. I don't know if you can see it, uh, what's happening here, but it's actually showing a red multicast interest going around. And so that, that's kind of, kind of kind of show you uh, how traffic is flowing inside your network in this visual, visual way. So um, this is the topology editor. The second thing is this uh, TypeScript editor for with IntelliSense. Uh, if you have used, use any kind of Visual Studio, you know what that is. So you can write NDN TS code. NDN TS is an NDN library in TypeScript. So you can directly write code for each node and it's gonna give you this auto completion uh, and error checking. And you can run this because it's TypeScript, it can compile to JavaScript. So you can actually run this code inside your browser and you can run a, a, some kind of simple experiment. And if you just go to NDN Play right now, there are a bunch of experiments that you can actually try out uh, in, in TypeScript. So that's going to run completely inside your browser. The third thing is you can do something like packet capture, uh, like Wireshark. If I just capture packets for an experiment, then I can see a list of what went through what node. I just You just have to enable packet capture inside before you run the experiment. And uh, then you can quickly see what's happening. And you can also uh, click on these packets and it's going to show you the TLE structure, what's inside these packets. So it's uh, going to show you things like what's the name, what's the content, and it's going to decode each of these uh, uh, for you. Like, for example, it's going to tell you what signature type it is. So the signature type is just an integer, so it's going to tell you what that actually is uh, in the TLE visualizer. So, um, so what's missing from this Indian play is that it can only run JavaScript. And most of the real Indian code is not going to be in JavaScript. It's going to be in uh, C++ or uh, say Python. So you cannot use Indian CXX or Python because you cannot run these in the browser. 
And so you cannot use this with real code in most cases. The second thing is obviously we don't want to run this in a browser. We want to run this uh, maybe in some server or something. Uh, and it finally doesn't run a real forwarder. So it's, it's not, it's really just designed the way it is. It's designed only for very simple things. So um, the way we can fix this is integrating Indian Play with Mini Indian. And so what really uh, that means is we have Indian Play as the front end. And then whatever we do is actually happening inside Mini Indian that might be running on your local machine on a laptop or that might be running somewhere else. And the way we do with this is we have this thing we just connected to Mini Indian or WebSocket. And so uh, what it's going to do is it's going to get these all of these statistics and uh, NFT uh, related things. It's going to talk to the server uh, for that. And then it can capture and serve these actual packet traces. And that's going to be done using T Shark. So we when we're running the Minion experiment, we just run T Shark to get capture the packets uh, from the uh, Mini Indian, and then we just show them inside our uh, interface, and then we can do some kind of topology manipulation. But uh, this is this is experimental; it doesn't really work right now. Uh, finally, I think what the most useful feature is for debugging is that we can have a terminal emulator on each node. So I'm going to show this later. But let me just quickly uh, say that this really makes it easy for real-time debugging. So if you're running, uh, if you're not doing something like running a script in Mini Indian, this really gives you something like uh, running actual hardware, similar to running actual hardware, because it gives you a terminal on uh, each node inside Mini Indian. Okay, so let me just uh, show how this quickly works uh, for the demo. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run. Uh, I'm going to run everything. I'm going to run Mini Indian inside a remote machine uh, because I run Windows, so I can't run it locally. And uh, so that I'm going to forward this port uh, is when I SSH to my server, 8765, and that's going to be our WebSocket port or to which uh, we connect the browser. SSH forwarding the port 8765 to the port uh, on that machine. And I'm just, again, going to run uh, mini NDN inside Docker. Yeah. And one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to forward the port 8765 from the Docker container to local on my server. So this way, uh, it comes from the Docker container to that server, and then it comes. And once again, you do need to have it privileged. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. Mini NDN is not going to work without being privileged. Again, I run this, and now I have mini NDN. Now I go to examples. I have this uh, example right here, which is play server. And it, it's, it's really a very simple example. Uh, let me just go over it very quickly. So again, I have these <coughs> uh, starting up NFT on all nodes, starting up T shark on all nodes. If you don't do this, you cannot see the packet traces. And uh, finally, I'm going to call this method called start play server, which I'm going to import from any Indian. And this is really going to start up uh, the server for our GUI. So this is going to use the default topology that um, Saurabh described earlier, which is just four nodes connected to each other. So now it's just saying that I have this link to open in the NDN. This is actually the topology that I defined, uh, that I have defined inside the default configuration file. So that's the first thing that you can see that you can look at the topology. You, uh, again, I want to say that you should not try to edit it here. It's it's actually going to start up the nodes and some all of that, but it's not going to start NFT on those nodes, so it's probably not going to work for you. Uh, so let's go to the interesting part. Uh, first, you can click on this node, and it's going to show you all of the statistics for this node. For example, it's going to show you the NFT statistics. That's going to be what prefixes are registered on it, uh, what what is inside the content store of that. It's also going to show you the interfaces. So for example, this is saying that you have this interface with this IP address. This is just the if config for this particular node. So you can just very easily look at what's happening inside these nodes over here. Uh, the second thing you can do is just uh, double click on this node or click on open terminal on the left. It's going to give you this terminal on this node. So that's just bash on mode D. Now I have this terminal on D. What I'm going to do is start a ping server on this. In the end, server, let's say, slash Alice uh, on D. And so I now I have this ping server running. So I go to B now, double click on B is going to give me a terminal on B, and I can just switch between these two uh, terminals as I want to. And uh, right now I will not be able to ping Indian if I just try to do Indian ping slash Alice because 
it is uh, there. There is no route for it. It's gonna get a knack because I don't I don't have a forwarding table entry for slash Alice anywhere. So what I have to do is I can just add NFTC route at prefix slash Alice next hub, and I can just look here. Link is uh, for D for this link is ten zero zero ten. So on B I can do next hub UDP ten zero zero ten. And now my route is added, the face is created. So if I go to B, I should see something inside the FIP, which is slash Alice having this uh, next up as this face. And I can look at this face, it's 268 is over here, which is this uh, UDP face to this node. And now I can do ngn ping slash Alice. Bug, uh, you, as you're writing code, you can actually run the code over here. Uh, oh, the connection is back. And that's that's gonna, that's gonna make it easier for you to debug whatever you're running. So I can just run anything else over here, whatever program I want. What you can also do, for example, is write the code here itself. I, I can just uh, look at the logs over here. I go to log, look at the log uh, for NFD, uh, or just run whim. I can do anything over it. It's like a normal terminal emulator, but it's specific to that node. Whatever you do uh, inside this terminal is gonna happen on uh, that node, inside the network namespace for that node. But your file system is still the in file system for the entire mini NDN. Now, the more interesting part is that when, once I've run this, I've already run this experiment, I can go to packet capture, and it's gonna show me all the packets that have gone through this node. So it's gonna tell me the timestamp, uh, where it went from, like it went from the data, went from D to B, so it's gonna say data from D to B, the length of the packet and the name of the packet. And I can double click on this, uh, and it's gonna just show me the entire TLB content so it's the data and then there's a name and then there is the meta info which has the freshness period and then there is a signature and a signature value so this if you just click on this it's going to show me the actual signature in hexadecimal this is for the tle visualizer and one last thing i'm going to show is uh, our earlier example of running the uh, state vector sync so let's see how that works here so i am actually running i'm actually running uh, this mini indian right now is I'll keep it running. So I'm going to get this state vector thing. Uh, okay, I can get this one. So I have to do the routes myself. Um, okay, actually, let me shut this down. I'm just going to go to the mini and CLI here and shut this down. And I'm going to get the state vector thing example. Uh, okay, because it's a new container, I still again have to get Indian SVS. And uh, I also have, so I don't need the demo now. I, I'm just gonna build the default NDN SVS uh, examples to show you how you can work with the a real application or uh, rather how you can debug it. So, so this is just gonna set up our example and uh, state vector sync. And the only thing we need to change uh, in our, in our uh, script here is we need to call the start play server command this here. And instead of running, so I don't need to run the application. I'm gonna comment this out. And instead of sleeping, I'm just gonna call start <clears throat> play server on ndn.net. And I hope this works. So again, this is adding the routes and all of that. And now, now it has this link for us. And okay, that looks like it worked. And so, okay, so now I have the example set up. I have the, I have the route set up over here. So I have NDN SVS and I have these bunch of routes, which is NDN A site A, which points to uh, A in the topology. So what I'm gonna do here is, again, start up a terminal on D and, um, I'm going to start uh, the application over here. And now this time it's it's an interactive application, so you can actually give input. So I'm going to have to do mini NDN slash mini NDN, NDN SVS, build examples and chat. And so I'm going to set the um, this node as slash NDN slash A side slash A slash, because that's, that's something, sorry, it's D. It's going to be D side, D slash. Uh, SVS chat, let's see. and then uh, CD again. 
And uh, so I'm going to start this. So it's, so the, it's started here. And I'm going to go to B and do the same thing. I'm just going to start mini NDN. Slash NDN slash B side A. And as soon as I started this, the first thing I got this message. So when D started, it published a message. So I got this message over here. And now uh, I can actually interact with my application to debug it. So I can say hello from what is this B? B. And it's going to show up over here. So it's saying that this node, which is B, said hello. And uh, I can just interact with these applications in real time. And so this can be really useful for debugging. At the same time, uh, I'm capturing all the packets. So you can see. Um, all of these packets over here. State vector sync uses some custom TLV uh, format. Uh, and then you cannot actually, de that's not start part of the standard NDN uh, stuff. So this, this TLV visualizer is not going to be able to decode that. And so um, what you can do is you can actually define your own TLV types over here. This is an example for state vector sync, which is just saying that like TLV num type 201 is a state vector, 202 is a state vector entry and some other things like the sequence number is a non-negative integer, and we expect the state vector to be inside a name. So once you define these TLV types, then it should be able to uh, decode your custom TLV types as well. So uh, that is something the TLV visualizer can also do. And um, yeah, so I guess that's it for the demo. Uh, but uh, yeah, one more thing you can do inside this NDN play is a feature of NDN play. If you call this generate, it's going to generate this one binary file for you. And you can just go to um, NDN play, and you can uh, load this binary file over here, and it's going to give you all of the ex whatever experiment, all the status of the forwarders, and if there was a packet trace, it would have shown you all the tra packet traces here as well. So uh, you can kind of send this to someone, or you can just preserve this for later if you want to look at the traces again later. That's also something that you can do um, with this mini NDN integration. So uh, yeah, so that's it for the demo. And again, this is still in development, so contributions are most welcome if you can contribute to it, to either mini NDN or Indian Play or the integration.